Hey there, lovely viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's gonna revolutionize the way you look at relationships, the five love languages. Now, I know what you're thinking, love languages? Are we gonna learn to speak romantic Morse code? Well, not exactly. Stick around and you'll see how understanding these love languages can sprinkle some magic onto your relationships. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our awesome content. So, what's the deal with these love languages, huh? Think of them as the secret decoder rings to your partner's heart. We all express and receive love in different ways. Let's break them down, shall we? First love language words of affirmation. So, picture this your partner walks in wearing a new outfit they're super proud of. You glance up from your phone and say, meh, it's okay. Oops, buzzkill. But hold on, if their love language is words of affirmation, a simple, wow, you look incredible, is like a dose of happiness serum. You catch my drift, right? Second love language acts of service. Now, let's talk acts of service. Imagine you're drowning in a sea of dirty dishes, and your partner swoops in like a superhero to save the day. If acts of service is their love language, you just earned major brownie points. A clean kitchen is a happy heart, folks. Third love language receiving gifts. Ah, receiving gifts the language of presents, baby. Now, I know what you're thinking, I need to buy a yacht to keep my relationship afloat. Nope, not exactly. It's more about the thought behind the gift. Remember, it's the effort that counts, not the price tag. Fourth love language quality time. All right, now let's dive into quality time. Imagine your partner's idea of a dream date is Netflix and chill, but you're more of a hike and picnic kind of person. If quality time is their thing, you better pack that picnic basket, my friend. Bonding time is where the magic happens. Fifth love language physical touch. Last but definitely not least, we've got physical touch. Hold on to your hats, folks, cause this one's all about the cuddles, hugs, and maybe even a playful poke or two. A little touchy-feely never hurt nobody. So, what's the secret sauce? Well, it's all about discovering your partner's love language and speaking it fluently. It's like learning to salsa dance you might step on their toes a few times, but soon, you'll be gliding across the dance floor of love. Ready to level up your love game? Here are some killer tips. Combo moves. Mix and match the love languages for a supercharged connection. Surprise attacks. Sneak in little acts of love that speak to their language. Speak up. If you're not sure, ask your partner how they like to be loved. Communication, people. Love language dates. Plan dates that align with each other's love languages. Translation guide. Remember, not everyone speaks your love language, so be patient and understanding. And there you have it, folks. The five love languages decoded for maximum relationship awesomeness. Remember, Relationships are like plants they need care, attention, and a little sprinkle of love language magic to truly flourish. Thanks for joining us today, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow relationship adventurers. Until next time, keep speaking the language of love, and keep being awesome.